Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying my most productive topwater pattern, whether it's trout, stripers, or bass. We're going to tie the gurgler, and we're going to tie it in the best color ever, chartreuse. We're getting started right now. Alright, so in the vise today I have a Gamakatsu SC15, and I believe this is in a one -aught. Uh This is a great size for me, um, very versatile. And this is a saltwater hook, but this hook would also work very well for smallmouth bass or any other predatory fish. Um, so for my tail, I'm just going to use chartreuse bucktail. And I'm going to tie this so it's about two shank lengths long. Create a thread base, forwards, back. And I'm just going to do this to build up the body. So when you come back, just ease up on your tension so you don't flare the bucktail too much and then come down here and tighten up your tension. So, I'm gonna grab some Crystal Flash and I'm just gonna add this to my tail. And I'm gonna have it extend on either side just past the tail. Just tie it on this side, fold it over, and tie it on the other side. It's perfect. So I used a River Road foam cutter. Um, it creates a very, very clean, precise body. So I'm just gonna tie that in now. And you can see you tie in the skinny part here. And you just kinda compress the foam down. Make sure you tie it all the way back. So you, if you don't tie it back, your body won't start in the correct place. So right about there. Perfect. So next I'm gonna tie in my hackle. I'm just going to tie it into the back with the shiny side facing me. Um, every time I tie in a material, I'm just going to bring it up all along the whole length of the body. And that's going to just build some bulk. And it's going to create a larger profile when viewed from below. So for my body, I'm going to tie in body braid. Uh, just flat diamond pearl. Um, and you, you, you can change out the body here. Um, I just like a flash body. Again, just another kind of attracting feature to this fly. So just gonna wrap this and uh, kind of create a messy body, just covering up everything I've put down and then tie it off right behind the eye. Nice and long. Let's trim this off, cover that up. I'm gonna rib this again with my mono thread uh, just the way this fly gets used, it gets chewed pretty well. So anytime you can kind of add durability to it is a plus. So I'm just going to wrap my hackle forwards, um, open spirals. All right, let's tie that off right behind the eye. Fold that back. Try to keep stuff out of the eye. I'm going to just pull this down to either side. And that's just going to make it so when I uh, pull my foam over, you don't smush it too much. But you still get a good profile with this hackle. All right, so I'm going to pull over my foam. And you can see with this River Road cutter that you have a perfect tie-off point right there. So loose, and then tighten up. Make sure it's centered. So I'm just going to rotate this in the vise. Check it out and kind of move my thread forwards and whip finish. So again guys, this is my favorite color to tie this in. It's an awesome pattern it's for moving large fish from the depths. Uh, you know, it creates a commotion, they come right up and smash it. So I'm just gonna finish this off with some super glue and really just increase the durability of this fly. So you can find all the materials at tridentflyfishing.com. Make sure you hit the subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our future fly tying videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.